Hello, everybody. I hope this one turns out all right. Coming into Goldthwaite, Texas. I was trying to turn my phone on. It went to all sort of different photo features, but it looks like it's back on the right uh, the right video. Yeah, we're coming into Goldthwaite, and uh, it's like uh, San Saba. It's I think one of the main industries here is pecans. They grow a lot of pecans uh, on the, uh, we're in the, like, Colorado River Basin, I guess you call it. And uh, I guess we're still considered part of the hill country here. I notice they've got the uh, wind turbines. See that one over on the hill to the right? Let's see, population 1738. I, I would always, I've, I've always thought Goldthwaite had more people than that because it's, it's sort of a uh, active little uh, downtown area. As you'll see in just a second, there's the city park. And I probably showed you a video driving through here before, but. You know, I get a I get a new subscriber about once a month. So uh, if YouTube doesn't take them away from me, so uh, I'll just show that new subscriber, Goldthwaite, Texas. How about that? And if the rest of you haven't seen my Goldthwaite video, my other one, go back and watch it 150 times. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. We're still on Highway 16. Do a little zigzag through Goldthwaite here. And see, there's a pecan place right there. There was a big one I went by out of town back there. We got a Napa Auto Parts. Uh, the courthouse is right here on the left, which you won't get to see. And the old jail. I think on my older video, uh, I came through the other way, though, so uh, uh, it should be on there. Ace Hardware. Not a lot of traffic. There's an Exxon. You'll see it. There's an Exxon station up here, which is like... It is the main stop. They've even got... It's even got its own... Uh, red light to come out to get in and out of there. That's how busy I guess they are. You'll see it up here. It's right on the right. And uh, uh, I've stopped there many times. They had a little area in the back where uh, dogs could walk around. So I stopped there many times with uh, Blanca and let her, let her get out and stretch her legs and do her business. It's this Exxon that's right here. And they make a, if you're ever through here and you're hungry, they've got a grill in there. And they make a darn good hamburger there. They sure do. I guess that's the grocery store here, Schwartz. I guess that's that might be a Central Texas uh, grocery chain. See how, see it's got its own turn signal light. To you for them to get in there, that's pretty cool. There, there's not a street right there. It's uh, just that light is just letting them get into that uh, Exxon station. So somebody probably had some pull with the state on getting that put in. Look at that old house. That some pretty old houses in here. Yeah, I'm plugging along. It's 11:30. Uh, I'm going to time it. Well, I mean, they're well open now. I get to Stephenville. I'll probably stop at Hard Eight just because it's the place to stop. Family Dollar, Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah, it's a barbecue place. It, it's good, but like I said in some of my videos, we have one right there in Boyd I'd put up against any of them. Sam's. But uh, I'll probably stop at Hard Eight and get a get a sandwich. Now 
now that I'm back from this trip, I started making a list for, you know, like sort of like, not resolutions, but just sort of like for the new year. And uh, one of them is to eat healthier, you know. I do eat, normally I eat a healthy breakfast. I eat oatmeal with blueberries, walnuts, and that. Five, I eat that five days a week. But I did stop yesterday on the way down and got that salad at uh, Whataburger. And it, man, it was good. It was apple cranberry salad, had grilled chicken on it. It was awesome. And that was compliments of uh, my buddy Scott, who sent me a, amongst other cards he has sent me, he sent me a Whataburger gift card. And that. They got a really nice, beautiful, new, brand new Whataburger in Bridgeport. So, and that gift card is going to get used. I tell you, all of them get used, but that's a good one. So thank, thanks again, Scott. There's a Chevrolet dealer. Old Sweet, Texas. Go up here and uh, Highway 16, turn to the right. Yep, there's some more wind turbines. There's more pecan, pecans.com. John, De uh, John Deere dealership. Highway intersection 16. That's that's what we want. I believe if you keep going straight on this road, uh, you go to uh, Brownwood, Texas. I'm pretty sure. My next town that I'll go through will be uh, Comanche. Yeah, this is about a five or six hour trip down to uh, Bernie and Comfort area. So, I'm glad I got most of the trip in my rear view mirror. There's a good shot of the wind turbine spinning. Yep. All right, guys. That was... That was Goldthwaite, Texas, for all you new subscribers out there, hopefully. I did pick up uh, three yesterday, I believe. It was, yeah, I've been stuck for a long time. My channel's been stuck in one spot. <clears throat> now, when I go back out to Fort Davis in June, it'll, it'll hopefully it'll pick back up again. But I've been stuck. Uh, I might get... Oh, 15 a month, something like that, so, it's, yeah, no biggie, I'm having fun, that's, that's all that counts, stay positive, stay blessed, and by golly, keep your health, guys, don't have much without it, I've, I've witnessed that here the last day or two, all right, do what you can to keep that health. Eat good. Think about what you're putting down your throat. Uh, uh, everybody's got time for exercise. Don't say you don't have time. You got 30 minutes a day somewhere to, to move around, okay? Uh, that's a big part of it right there. It's a big part of it. Talking to you later. Bye-bye.